Hey everyone, this is Dan with Shaner Designs. You're watching my beginner's guide, getting started with SolidWorks. If you're new to SolidWorks or new to CAD programs in general, this video is for you. This will help you get up and running quickly and also build a solid foundation that you can continue to use for years to come. SolidWorks is one of the most powerful and popular CAD tools on the market, and it recently became more accessible to the general public with the Maker License. So when you first open SolidWorks, you'll see a menu like this. You'll see we can make a new part, a new assembly, or a drawing. We can also go to the File tab and make a new part this way, or use the hotkey Control N, which is what I'll do now. This brings us to the Novice tab, which only has the three options. But if we want more options, we go to the Advanced tab, and you can see we have custom part templates and drawing templates loaded in here. You'll use that at some point, but for now, let's go back to the Novice tab and select a part and hit OK. So when you create a new part, you always have three planes, front, right, and top. And then you'll have an origin, which is the intersection of the planes. These are always there, and you can't ever delete them. In SolidWorks, think of a plane as the paper that you can draw or sketch on. And think of sketches as the building blocks or the foundation for all the other features in SolidWorks. Mastering the basics of planes and sketches in SolidWorks is essential, so once you get these things figured out, you'll be in a good position for success elsewhere. If you're not seeing any planes in your part, go over to the Hide Show features over here and toggle planes on and off, or toggle primary planes on and off. These might be switched off by default in your part file. So if you look over here, this is called the Feature, Feature Manager Design Tree. So you can see that's the tab we have selected. There are some other tabs, but we're just going to focus on this one for now. You see it has the part, some other properties, material property, planes and origin. And then this is the rollback timeline bar, which we're going to cover later in this video. So over in the top left corner here, you have all the regular file edit you know, all those things. We have the save and print button. We have a rebuild button, which basically just refreshes your part and re-updates any features that you created. And then over here, we have a search bar where we can search for different commands. So let's say we search for a command uh, like extrude. We can click on that first option there, and that'll activate that command. Or we can go over here and click the I, and that'll show us where it's at so that we can find it next time. So you can see it's under the Features tab. Going on from there, we have the Units tab down here, which you can see our current units are in inch pounds second. But if we wanted to change that to something else, like millimeter gram second, we could do that. For now, we're just going to leave it. But that's how you change units. Depending on your configuration, you might have some other buttons up here. Don't worry about those for now. And don't worry about the tabs over here. Um, for now, all we're going to worry about are the Features tab and the Sketch tab. So features are things like the Extruded Boss Base, Revolved Boss Base, Extruded Cut, Revolved Cut, Fillet, and then some other options that we're not going to worry about for now either. So next, we'll create a sketch. So go to the Sketch tab, and then click Sketch. Now it wants you to select a plane. Best practice in SolidWorks is to create your main sketch on the front plane. You want the front plane or the front view to be the view that shows the most detail. So we'll create our, our sketch on the front plane, and then these planes are kind of in the way, so we'll go up here and hide them. And then we'll start off by creating a line. So click on two points to create the line, and then it's ready to create another line continuing from there, but we'll just hit the escape key to get out of that. So let's look at the line. It consists of four entities. So we have the line itself, the two endpoints, and the midpoint. Every sketch feature in SolidWorks, with the exception of a point, consists of multiple entities. We can also see that this line is undefined. We can click on it and drag it around. Let's go ahead and delete that, and we'll start creating a rectangle using the line tool. So 
So now you can see the same thing with this. We can click on it and drag it around. You'll also notice that all these entities are blue, which means they are undefined. So to fix that, we want to start defining things. So we'll start adding some constraints. We'll do a control click to select the origin and the line and create a midpoint relation there. Now you can see that line is black, which means that it's fully defined. And then we'll add some dimensions, and now our sketch is fully defined. You can see every feature on there is black. But if we delete this, you can see those, those two uh, vertical lines are not fully defined, so we can still click them and drag them around. We can't drag them up and down, but we can drag left and right. So another way that we can make this sketch fully defined is by control clicking on these two lines and then let's add a relation. Let's do an equal relation here. So if we click on that and then close out, if we click on a line now and look at the existing relations, you can see it's horizontal and then it has an equal length relation. If you click on it, it shows you what line it's equal to. So now the other thing is that this is, this is uh, shaded, which means that it's it's uh, fully closed off. So if we're doing an extrude, this is really important. We'll go ahead and exit out of the sketch, and then click on our sketch, go to the Features tab, click the Extruded Boss Base. Now this gives our sketch some thickness and creates a solid from it. So we'll click OK at half an inch. So now we have a solid part, which means we could do other things on it, like an extruded cut. So by selecting a face and then sketching something on it and hitting OK, we can then cut through the part. We can also do things like add fillets onto the corners. So once we have a solid part, there's a lot we can do with it. This is kind of the, the building block that we start with. Um, so now that we have this, let's look at the the uh, timeline rollback feature. So if we roll this back, we can go before our extruded boss base. And you can see it disappears. It's still there in the feature tree. We're just looking at a place in time before that was created. And we can do the same thing with the other features. I can also move the features around by clicking on them and dragging. So like, let's say um, if I want to move this fillet so that it happened before the cut, I could do that. So now if I want to go back and edit the fillet, you can see the cut's not there, so I can't add the fillet on the extruded cut edge. But if I move the cut to happen before the fillet, now if I want to add the fillet, I can do it on the extruded cut by selecting the edge. So the order that you do things is really important. If you hover the mouse over the part and hit tab, it'll disappear. We've essentially hidden the part. So now if we go over here, you can see it's still in the tree. It's just hidden. So we can right click on here and click the show command and it'll come back. We can do it again by hitting tab and we can hold down shift and hit tab again to bring it back. So that's something to watch out for. You might hit the tab key and your part just disappears. That can be really frustrating if you don't know what's going on. So I think that's all I have for this video. If you made it this far, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. My next video is gonna be about sketching, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, you can check out some of my other tutorials and playlists by clicking the buttons that are popping up on the screen now. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.